Uh, Mr. Barnum, I'm delayed you're here. Please go ahead. Thank you, sir. I want to begin by thanking um, Chairman Leahy and Ranking Member Sessions for holding this hearing and for your strong and steadfast support of families of all types. The preservation and strengthening of the family unit has long been a rallying point for the NAACP, and I'm happy to say my middle son, Michael, uh, joins me here. Today, Michael, now, now, now you're in the family archives, too. <laughs> uh, family sponsorship accounts for more than 85% of legal immigration to the United States. But a backlog of visas, experienced in many immigration categories, but especially for family members, currently separates immigrants from spouses and their young children for over five years and separates elderly parents, adult children, and siblings for as many as 23 years. The current family-based immigration system has not been updated in 20 years. There are currently 5.8 million people in the family immigration backlog waiting unconscionable periods of time to reunite with their loved ones. It is for this reason that the NAACP strongly supports legislation in the Senate that would fix our nation's immigration laws to again make family reunification a highly functioning element of our national immigration policy. Specifically, the NAACP supports the Reuniting Families Act, uh, Senate Bill 1085, introduced by Senator Menendez of New Jersey, and the Uniting American Families Act, uh, Senate 424, which has been introduced by the chairman of this committee, Mr. Leahy. In the House of Representatives, the NAACP supports legislation to be introduced tomorrow by Congressman Mike Honda, also to be called the Reuniting American Families Act, which incorporates both S-1085 and S-424. I'd hasten to add that we support the provisions in the Uniting American Families Act because the NAACP strongly believes that the definition of family is not restrictive and can and should include non-traditional family units. We do not believe that immigration law or any laws or policies for that matter, should discriminate against gay and lesbian families or family members. Too much of our national debate over immigration has focused on enforcement and undocumented workers. The NAACP feels strongly that genuine reform must include provisions to fix an antiquated system, with the result being the reinvigoration of one of the most compelling goals of American immigration laws, the reunification of American families. Giving all the benefits socially, economically, and morally, of ensuring that effective family reunification is an integral part of our nation's policy, there could be no question that the NAACP supports an overhaul of current law to ensure that the family preferences policies are functioning well and without discrimination. The NAACP would also like to stress that the definition of family should not be interpreted so str stringently as to omit people who are in a loving, committed relationship but happen to be of the same gender. It was, in fact, the Immigration Act of 1965 that put family unification at the core of our nation's policy, replacing the old quota acts of the 1920s. The 1965 Act made huge strides in eradicating the old racist policies that put a premium on people from Northern and Western Europe and made it next to impossible for people of color to emigrate to the United States. We clearly need to update our immigration policies to more efficiently promote family unification and in the spirit of promoting civil rights that was the guiding force behind the 1965 law, we should include families of all different races and ethnicities, including families with gay and lesbian members. It is because we support the civil rights protections of all people, and because we're opposed to discrimination based on any criteria, that we support inclusion of the Uniting American Families Act in any comprehensive immigration reform. This legislation will ensure that gay and lesbian couples and families are treated just like other families who are binational. The inclusion of the Uniting American Families Act in comprehensive reform would ensure the continuation of an expansion of civil rights to people who have historically been left out and mistreated by American immigration policies. In closing, let me reiterate the NAACP's strong belief in the benefits of strong, united families. As such, we support the inclusion of modifications to the existing family reunification policies in our nation's immigration laws to facilitate more families being brought together faster and with less hassle. Again, I'd like to thank the chairman for holding this important hearing and for your support of all kinds of families. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Bond.